Well, hello there. Today I've got my dog with me. And uh, I think it's not going to be that long of a video, but uh, let's see. I have some papers here uh, because there was a beautiful place in a book. Oh, they're done already. I'm gonna jump down. Let's see. Yes. Here. About God wanting us to pray and stand in the gap for others. Uh, let's go to the Bible. Everybody take your Bibles with you. <laughs> Open your Bible. Let's go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel, Ezekiel. And 22.30. Welcome, welcome. Like and follow if you don't follow. Ezekiel 22 and verse 30. Next page. Yes, I got it. Did you find it? Ezekiel 22, 30. And God says, And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it. But I found none. So God wants us to stand in the gap between him and somebody else. We really are encouraged to pray for others, to pray for people and pray for nations. And I've got this beautiful um, place in the Bible. I've read from this place before sometime, but that doesn't matter because we are going to go through it again. And being courage, this is about us, how God wants to use us to intercede for others, to pray for others, pray even for nations. All right, so I'm going to read from Isaiah, Isaiah 41 verses 8 to 15. Let's make it 8 to 16. All right, are you with me? Isaiah 41, 8 to 16. But thou... Israel art my servant, Jacob whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, 
and shalt not find them. Even them that contend with thee, they that war against thee, shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains, and beat them small, and shalt make the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shalt glory in the Holy One of Israel. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the reading of your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are with us and helping us to understand. Verse, eight, uh, verse 15 is for me a very beautiful verse. He promises that he will make me and you as a prayerful Christian, as interceding, when we are interceding for others. He will make us a new sharp threshing instrument, having teeth. And the teeth will be so sharp and powerful that we will thresh the mountains and beat them small. And the teeth are what we declare and decree and pray for. When we bind the enemy and we lose the favor of God and God's angels over our situations, over people's situations, over nations, God makes our teeth sharp. We are his instrument. Take this as a good encouragement. Your words are powerful. So be even mindful how you speak about yourself and your situations from day to day. Every word that comes out of your mouth shall be weighed. Mm, that's a scary thing to think about, but God has said it. So, be encouraged. When you pray for somebody that is contending with an evil spirit, you can be the gap between the enemy and the person that you are praying for. When we are interceding, we are the instrument of God. And he lets us declare things. What are you going to pray about? Who will you pray for? 
pray for as many as you have the strength to pray for and know that lives are impacted first in the spirit and then in the natural it could take some time before you see it in the natural in this life that we can see with our eyes but the changes in the spirit in the spirit are immediate yes it is yes it is all right i think that this video is enough for this time yeah so let's pray let's pray and intercede for each other and saying that i pray for you to have the blessing of god to have god's warring angels over you over your household over your children over your family i pray the protection of god be with you and i bind the enemy anything that is not of god i bind it in the mighty name of jesus christ and i lose the favor of god and his warring angels to come and help you amen in jesus name all right see you again next time be blessed have a good one bye